2020 Teneril Cellars Tempranillo. My name is Catherine Fallis, and I was the fifth woman in the world to become a master sommelier. I'm doing what I love doing, which is tasting wine, and the wine we're tasting right now is the 2020 Teneril Cellars Tempranillo, and this is from Fair Play, which is in the Sierra Foothills, a really beautiful area of the state of within the state of California that gets pretty warm, but it's cooled down the, in the evening by these nice breezes. So even the dragonfly that you see on the label would be comfortable because it's been warm during the day, but now it's cooling down a little bit and we can kind of flutter around and do our thing. And that's what I like. I like a wine that allows me to, to keep going and doing my thing. Tempranillo is the grape here. So Tempranillo, it actually refers to ripening early. Tempranillo is the ubiquitous grape of Spain. So almost anywhere you go in Spain, whether it's uh, called uh, Tinto Fino or Tempranillo or by many other names, it's Tempranillo. And it's a, a grape that gives us really kind of nice ripe cherry flavors. And then often with the wines in Spain in the region called Rioja, we're getting other notes as well from oak aging. So Rioja, which is the quintessential Tempranillo wine of the world, is usually very oaky as well as having the nice cherry flavors. The character of many California Tempranillos is also quite heavily focused on the barrel usage. So what do I mean by that? Um, we're talking about putting wines, young wines, into oak barrels and if they're new and if they're charred or heavily toasted or burnt basically you're getting all of that caramel flavor and the toasty nuances and sometimes even smokiness which adds flavors into the wine you're also getting when you drink this wine you're getting a chewiness a grippiness a kind of astringency almost that would need time to age to soften or letting it aerate in your glass or a carafe and so typically when i see a california tempranillo i'm bracing myself for that. Uh, not in a bad way, just, oh, it's gonna be really oaky. And some people love that. For example, if you love Cabernet Sauvignon, you'd probably love that style because California Cabernet Sauvignons are also very heavily oaky and that's part of the personality of, the, of that wine. But in this case, I was pleasantly surprised because I smell this gorgeous cherry fruit, almost kind of a cherry cordial. I also smelled other notes in here like cigar box and balsamic or resinous scrub. Kind of, think, if you think of thyme or lavender, that's what that's, that means, or pine cone. So not balsamic as far as balsamic vinegar because we never talk about vinegar and wine in the same sentence. <laughs> but balsamic as in kind of that resinous scrub that you see along you know, the south of France or in Marin or many parts of California. You, you could also think of juniper. Um, but there's also a savory note here like cumin. And there's also a lovely kind of stewed meat note. And so this wine would be ideal with you know, a nice kind of beef stew or stewed meat. So your favorite kind of stewed meat or plant-based stew with maybe some nice, you know, roasted tomatoes, um, garlic, that kind of thing. Why am I drooling a little? Excuse me, I'm so hungry. <laughs> this wine makes me want to eat, so it's doing its job. And so, you know, there's only 20% uh, of this wine that's going in oak at all. And so it's just a little bit there in the background as a nice nuance. The wine is full-bodied, it is quite um, chewy you know, and uh, drying, meaning that the water is being taken out of your mouth instead of being brought back in. And that's common in California. And it's also very, very young. Mm. And at the same time with all of the Teneril Cellars wine, it's got that nice tartness at the end from fresh, natural, high elevation acidity that the grapes are bringing into the winery. So that natural acid is, you know, being preserved. And even though the wine has that kind of grippiness initially, just a little bit, 
Now my mouth is watering. So the water went away, but now it's back and it's my mouth is just like, I want more, mm, I want more. And this is the, the, the magic of many European wines. So to get that in a California wine growing, grown in a warm area, you know, this is really uh, well done, a job well done. So go Tempranillo, delicious, cheers.